I love Euler. I grew up there. I graduated from there. Now I work at Euler. I've lived in Cincinnati my whole life. I've been uh, at Euler since that start. I came back for first grade of Euler through 12th grade of Euler. I forgot the exact address, but this is Burn Street, and it's directly across my preschool room. So through that door, I can see everything. But there's so in this neighborhood, there are a lot of triumphs and tragedies. Um, gun violence, prostitution, drugs. And then there are also folks like me trying to make a family and name for themselves. So I, I found out I was pregnant with Haley. I was 16 years old. I was in the middle of my junior year of high school. I knew I was having a baby girl. So the nurse says, if you can find someone to help you carry the clothes home, they're all yours. During the summer, I had Haley. I was about to go back to school after my six week checkup. And when I came back, it was the saddest day of my life. I had to take the school bus to school because the boiler was getting remodeled. So I, I found a friend and cried my whole way to school. And when I walked into school, I saw the principal and resource coordinator, Jamie Lugan. And I gave them both the biggest hugs and told them, told them that my father passed away. Sorry. That's harder to say on camera. So I told the principal and Miss Jamie that, and they gave me the biggest hug that they could. They kept me in their office until I was ready to come out. And then they said that anything that I needed, I, that they would be there for me. But they kept me hanging on, and I graduated second in my class. And I didn't even know that until I had to write a speech. So there is just a whole new level of accountability. You're just not calling into work. There are kids and families that depend on you and you have to be here for them to make sure that nothing falls between the cracks. In May, I will be the upcoming Vice President of Community Council. The idea that the school is the center of the revitalization efforts is called school-centered community revitalization. That you can't have a successful school and not have a successful neighborhood and vice versa. If you have a family who owns a home, their student is about 20% more likely to graduate than a parent of a renter. So we're making that connection and saying, you know, the more home ownership that we have in our schools and our families, the more stable their housing is, the more likely it is that that's going to connect to higher graduation rates. We have a partnership with Habitat for Humanity and they're bringing on 10 more single family homes back to life and matching them with families from Euler School who will then be homeowners and have stable housing. So right here, this is my, my new home with my daughter Haley, my fiance Brandon, and we are just ecstatic to move in. So Habitat for Humanity hosted an information session at Euler. So I went to the information session, filled out their application, and then months later I was accepted into the program in 2017. I have, I've had my house picked out for two years almost, and we started working on it in the late February of 2018. We have a new downspout, um, some of our gutters are replaced, a whole brand new roof, um, demo in the basement, pre-framing, framing. I love the whole process so far. And today we are cleaning up other Habitat homes. What you're seeing right here is a great example of the resurgency of Lower Price Hill and what the partnerships at Euler Community Learning Center with CLCI have, have been able to help bring into the neighborhood. So what's happening behind us is that three Habitat for Humanity homes are actively under construction and so soon they will have homeowners living inside what was a vacant building. Now we're gonna have active families that are participating and giving back to the neighborhood. And then the fourth building is a part 
of an affordable rental development project with Over the Rhine Community Housing. Again, that's all, all of this that you're seeing here is wrapped up into the committed investment around housing in the neighborhood that's aligned with the Lower Price Hill Resurgency Plan. I sit and look at the house every day, walk by it every day, and I almost cry, and now the moment is finally here where I get to work on it.